Hey folks, uh, this lesson is Area of Parallelograms. It's Lesson 10-1 in our textbook we're following. And don't forget, all your lessons can be found at MrMathBlog.com. If we go to MrMathBlog.com, so you'll go and you'll find uh, this site right here. Um, and uh, there's two sixth grade links. Uh, this one's for my district and this one is for your district, okay? So yours is right next to the fifth grade link and when you scroll down you'll see that lesson right there, okay? All right, so our, our common core strand is right there and how can we find the area of parallelograms? Okay, so, so the area of a figure is the number of square units, so the little squares that we can put in there that's needed to cover with it, with that, needed to cover the whole area without any uh, holes or gaps or anything. So the area of a rectangle is just the product of the length times the width. So for example, here's a rectangle. The length is 4, the width is 3, so the area is 4 times 3 or 12. And if you counted these up, there's 12 little square units inside of there. Okay, so that's how you find the area of a rectangle. So for any rectangle that has length L and W width, uh, the area is length times width, or LW, okay? So a parallelogram, you guys, is just a quadrilateral, a special quadrilateral that has two pairs of parallel sides. So these sides are parallel, and these sides are parallel right there, okay? And so uh, the base makes... Um, uh, the base makes a right angle with the height. Okay, so let me take this out for a second right there. So if I took that out right there, so here's a base right there, and then here's a height. The height is a right angle that's uh, perpendicular between both bases right here. Now your book wants to know that it comes from a vertex down, but this height can actually be stretched over here. So if I if I put that height in right here, that height is the same as that height right there, as long as it makes a, a right angle right there, okay? So it could be a, uh, the height could be going at this direction right here. So if we if we put that uh, right angle right in right there, or, you know, this could be a height also. So there's, you know, it just depends. As long as it makes a right angle, let's see, I'm trying to make a right angle right there. So as long as it makes a right angle, then it could be a height right there. So, so this could be a base and this could be the height right there, okay? But most of the time we're going to be dealing with this figure right here where this is the base, the bottom, and this is the height right here. Sometimes they'll float that height out out here and you'll have to recognize that the height is out here. And then they'll usually put dotted lines right here and dotted lines right here so you can see that this is the base right there, okay? So let's just focus on that base height, okay? The height makes a right angle with the base right there. So Larry is painting a picture in the shape of parallelograms. The base of each parallelogram measures 9 centimeters and the height is 4 centimeters. What's the area of all of these parallelograms, okay? So if you have this, uh, if you have some uh, graph paper, that would be great. Or some uh, grid paper, same thing. And some scissors, that would be great. If not, then just follow along. So let's draw a parallelogram. Uh, the parallelogram that's nine centimeters uh, and height four centimeters. So I think I think I'm going to draw uh, I think I'm going to draw a parallelogram like right here, and I'm just going to go over nine. So so one, two, three, four, and I'm just going to go over nine, and then I'm going to go up four. So I'm going to just make sure it goes up four. So one, two, three, four. And then I'll draw the second side and draw my parallelogram right there. I don't know if that makes sense. So there's my parallelogram right there. Okay, makes sense? Okay, so the base is nine squares and the height from this base to this uh, parallel side right here is four. Okay, notice that's a right angle right there. Okay, so the height is four and the base is nine. Okay, then it says cut that out. So let's cut that out and I'll slide it up right there. Okay, so now we're going to cut along the dashed line to remove that little triangle. So cut, 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 cut right there and I get that right there and then we're gonna um, uh, now we're gonna move that triangle over to the right side of the figure over there okay so I just took that triangle that was over here okay so let me go back I just took that triangle and moved it right there okay and so what it does is it makes a nice um, uh, rectangle right there so so a rectangle remember the rectangle is um, uh, base times height 
Okay, in this case, it's length times width. So, so what's the area of that rectangle? It's going to be 9 times 4 right there. So 9 times 4 is 36. And area, you guys, is always in square units. So this is centimeters, so square centimeters. You ever see the word area? Always write square centimeters. So, so or centimeters squared, okay? So area is always in square units, okay? And so what's the area of the parallelogram? Well, the parallelogram is just this. All we did was move this triangle over here, and it's the same area. It's got the same squares in it, so it's going to also be 36 square centimeters. So check this out, you guys. So here's that parallelogram when we... Uh, when we cut this guy out, we cut it out and we moved it over here. Okay, it gave us that right here. Notice the base is 9 and the height is 4. Over here we got the length is 9 and the width is 4. So the base of the parallelogram is the same as the, uh, the length of the rectangle right there. Okay, and the height of the parallelogram is going to be the same as the the width of that parallelogram right here and the area of this parallelogram I mean rectangle the area of the parallelogram is going to be the same as the area of the rectangle right there so for a parallelogram that has has base uh, B and height H right there so base B and height H this is 9 times 4, so it's going to be um, uh, B times H, okay, or BH right there. So the area of a parallelogram that has 9 centimeters base and 4 centimeters height is 9 times 4, or 36 square centimeters. It's just like a rectangle. Instead of doing length times width, it's base times height. So the area of each parallelogram in Larry's painting is 36 square centimeters, okay? So just remember, any parallelogram, you can, you can slice that little triangle off and put it on the other side, and it always forms this rectangle. And a rectangle is base times height, or length times width, okay? Well, however your teacher wants you to say that. So how do we know that the area of the parallelogram is the same as the area of the rectangle? Well, the parallelogram, uh, we cut it along the height and put it back together that made that rectangle. So it was the same figure, it was the same area, so they just had the same areas that were just moved around right there, okay? All right, so let's do that with this one. So use the formula area equals base times height for a parallelogram to find the area of this parallelogram, okay? So here's the base, here's the height. The height has to be a right angle, so you have to have that right angle in there. And if we don't have that right angle in there, you can't uh, find the area. Okay, so write the formula, area equals base times height, and then replace the B and H, so the B is 6.3, the H is 2.1, we'll put that in there, okay, and then we'll multiply, okay, well I didn't leave you out on that, so here's 6.3 times 2.1. So we'll multiply this 1 through first. Disregard the decimals when you're multiplying decimals. We use those at the very end, I'll remind you. So 1 times 63 is 63 right there. Okay, and then we multiply this 2 through. Now when we multiply the tens through, we put a 0 right here. Some people put x's. I, I like to put a 0 right there. Okay, then we multiply... 2 times 3 is 6, so we'll put a 6 right there, and then 2 times 6 is 12, so it becomes 12, and then we add those. Okay, so when we add those, we get 1,323. Now we bring the decimals in. So one decimal, two decimals, so we take this, what's right here, and we move it two places to the left, however many decimal places you see in the problem. So 13.23, so the area of that parallelogram is 13.23 square inches, okay? All right, so a square is a special rectangle in which the length and width are equal. You guys probably knew that. So remember, the area of a rectangle is length times width. So if you have a square, a square is a rectangle. So this is the length, this is the width. So it's S times S, which is just S squared. So the area of a square is just S squared. So let's find the area of the square that has a side that measures 9.5 meters, okay? So here's our formula, area equals uh, S squared. So let's go ahead and substitute in 9.5. Okay, here we go. Okay, so 5 times 5 is 25. I'll carry a 2 up here. And then 9 times, uh, or 5 times 9 is 45 plus the 2, 47, okay? And then we'll do the 9 now. So when we do the 9, carry the 0, okay? And then 9 times 5 is 45, so we'll put a, a 5 right here and carry a 4. 
Okay, 9 times 9 is 81, plus 4 is 85, okay? All right, so let's move the decimal over one space, two space. So right here, it's going to go 1, 2. So we get uh, 85.50, or just 85. Uh, I'm sorry, we got to add them up, then we do that. I'm sorry. <laughs> so then we move it over, and we get that. Gosh, I made a lot of mistakes in my uh, geometry class today. Silly errors just like this. All right, so the area of the rectangle or the square is uh, 90.25. And don't forget, it's always in square units, in this case, meters. So square meters, meters squared. All right, so a parallelogram has an area of 98 square feet and the base is 14 feet. So what's the height? All right, so here's our parallelogram. The area is 98 feet squared. And the base is 14 feet, and we're looking for this right here, our H right here. Well, remember, base times height equals area, okay? So we'll go ahead and write the formula. Area equals base times height, and we'll, we'll substitute in the area is 9, uh, 98, so that goes right here. Okay, and we know the base. The base is 14, so that goes right here. So let's put those in. And then uh, when we solve this, remember, we're going to go ahead and we do the inverse operation, 14 times h. We're going to divide. So we're going to go ahead and use the division property of equality. Got to do it to both sides. So we're going to divide both sides by this number to get h by itself. So we're going to divide by 14. And when we do that, we get 7 right there. So... And the height of that parallelogram is uh, 7 feet. Okay. All right. So explain the difference between the height of a rectangle and the height of a parallelogram. Okay. Well, that's pretty easy. Okay. So the height of a rectangle is just the side of a rectangle right here. And the base is also a side of the rectangle. But the height of a par parallelogram, you guys, is just a perpendicular line segment that forms right angles. Perpendicular code word right angles right there. Uh, from one base to an opposite vertex, okay? And it really doesn't have to be an opposite vertex. It could be floating right down here. So your book wants to say it has to be from this vertex or this vertex right here. But it could actually be inside of this dude right here, okay? So if I, if I inserted a, another height right there, this height right here is the same as that height right there, as long as it makes a right angle right there, okay? So it doesn't have to be a side, like the rectangle has to be a side right there, okay? All right, you guys, I hope that lesson makes sense, and take care.